Hey, TikTok family. Guess what? I got something for y'all today. Now, this is for the spiritual TikTok thoughts. Everybody else, if you if your vibration ain't raised, if your if your energy ain't ain't up here, if you ain't look, this gonna go way over your head. Okay. So for everybody else, look. So last night I had this wild dream, right? But before I get to the dream, I wanna I'm gonna say this. For those of us who are star seeds or that we are chosen ones, we know that there is a higher calling on our life. A lot of stuff tends to happen to us where we cannot really explain it. Like we, we, people are starting to see stuff. And if you watch my other social media handles, I actually said that July 28th was the start of, I don't, but basically I had an awesome day that day, for real. But that day, I mean, I got so many compliments. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, you're just so little, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, well, thank you, <laughs> you know. But after that day, which was yesterday, well, day before yesterday, whatever, I had this wild dream. But let me explain something to you. If you have a calling on your life, something that is like of higher, like higher, higher calling or whatever the case is, because ever since I was a little girl, I used to always see certain things. And I would always used to tell my mom, like, Mom, you got black clouds popping out your ceiling. Like, they, them things look, they look crazy. Or, you know, Mom, there's a uh, there's a little girl standing at the top of your steps. Or, Mom, you ain't just see that black shadow walker? And she like, girl, shut up, Shay. You ain't know what you're talking about. I'm like, all right. So, through it all, I used to always tell her, like, Mom, I'm going to be rich when I get older. And I used to always say stuff like that. And she was, she was like, girl, there you go talking again, Shay. I'm like, I'm like, okay. Like, but back then. But, you know, again, when you're younger, you don't really realize. And so a lot of us, when when you're chosen, you tend to go through a lot in your infancy, especially in your younger years, because the spiritual realm is trying to take you out before you even get a chance to really come into your power or your spiritual gifts or whatever the case is. Right. So a lot of us have been, you know, neglected, abused. I'm not I'm not going to say none of the, a lot of the other stuff because I don't want you know some triggers to happen. But. For me, when I was born, I had water on my my brain or something like that. So they had to drill a hole at the top of my scalp. And, like, I had a little hole on top of my hair where gr hair does not grow. So from then on, you know, I dealt with a lot of neglect, you know, like like black sheep type of stuff or a lot of rejection, you know, that type of stuff, right? And as I've gotten older, I've gone through so much in my life already. So, but now, as of yesterday or the 28th, I mean, I've always had the had discernment i've always been able to see certain things and you know basically to dissect certain things that people are talking about without them even having to say much but over the course of these time uh, uh, of these couple of weeks before the 28th even happened um i've been getting a lot of downloads you know the spirit will talk about you know um watch your back you know there's two-faced people around you there you know there's somebody that's jealous around you there's this there's that and you know i can feel it you know but i just be like trying to give folk the benefit of the doubt i guess but anyway there's this one particular young lady that i've been following there's a few of them actually uh large jamal i've been following him uh spiritually in tune uh love your girl um there's another one i think her name is blue dream or something like that i can't remember but all of them pretty much were saying a lot of stuff about if you have a lot of flies around you that means that somebody's trying to throw like like a um like uh what's it called attacks on you like um like spiritual attacks on you and they are pretty much like spies for the people who are trying to throw these 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 uh these spiritual attacks on you 
So lately, you know, I, my my bedroom is on the top floor, the top third floor. I'm like, how the world are these daggone flies coming in through my window and the daggone screen is up, number one. Number two, yesterday, I guess I must have fell asleep with my phone in my hand. I don't know, because I was doing a lot of editing videos. If y'all follow me on YouTube, my name on there is uh, Simply Magnolias and Honey. You can go check me out. I'm crazy as hell. Or, you know, my other YouTube, or my other um, social media handles, Instagram, Elysion Collective Services, LLC, um, or just Facebook, Shayla Board, whatever, whatever you follow me on, okay? So, I guess I, I was doing some videos last night, editing, and I must have fell asleep with my phone in my hand, right? And so, I don't know where I was in this dream. I, I was just standing in the middle of nowhere. It was pitch black all around me, but for whatever reason, I looked down at my hand and I, it was like a bowl of flies was in my hand. And it scared me so bad because I don't, I don't know where I was. I, I guess I was in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where it was, but a bowl of flies was just like, they were just like around my hand, like around my phone, around my hand or whatever the case is. And I'm like, what the world? So I jumped up out of my sleep and I screamed and I threw my phone on the other side of my daggone bed. And I'm like, what the world was that? So my interpretation was, I'm finna do something with my hands. Like, like the enemy sees that, yeah, uh, girl, Shay, you finna go, man, I, I can't even describe. And a lot of stuff I can't talk about. I, I've been told not to say a lot of stuff. But there's a journey that I'm about to be on. And it's gonna, it's gonna entail using my hands. It's gonna t entail using a lot of my gifts. And... And it's a lot of spies that's been trying to watch me through the via the internet and coming up with like fake accounts and stuff like that. And these are confirmations because other people have written in like their channeled messages and stuff like that. But last night was really just like a confirmation of exactly what I've been thinking this entire time. But I'm like, y'all can watch all you want. I'm highly, I'm heavily protected. All my life, God already told me that I have a hedge of protection at my feet. Every step that I take, everywhere that I go, even down to my seeds, my air, they are heavily protected and they are also gifted as well. So, for those of y'all who can see, if you can kind of give me or enlighten me on further knowledge on maybe what that dream was really about, maybe I'm on the right path, maybe not. This thing keep getting caught, my little charm thing keep getting caught. But overall like I, I like again after the 28th for i've been it, it's been so whatever the case is i'm just gonna mind my business <laughs> and i'm gonna keep doing whatever i'm supposed to be doing and i'm gonna keep the like my circle real small like i, I i've been having to cut some folk off but and that's okay and without no explanation i don't need to explain jack to you because deep down you already know but like my life is about to be, uh, it's about to be epic. I, I like I said, I don't know what all is about to happen, but what I do know is somebody trying to figure out where what I'm doing. They're trying to keep tabs on me, but that's okay. <laughs> you can keep watching because at the end of the day, like I said before, I'm heavily protected. Love you.